So when I'm asked, will the chaos that marketers have to deal with in today's world to deploy effective advertising subside, I think about the evolution of the, of the IAB, and I feel confident that the pace of change will, out, will be outstripped at some point by our ability to create structure. So back to Hawaii. I'm just trying to still build up that denial, case for denial. You know, there are chickens and roosters everywhere, everywhere in, Hawaii, in Kauai. And I mean everywhere, on the golf course, and I explored all of them, on the golf course, by the pool, on the road, everywhere, okay? Well, I came to figure out and learn that there was a hurricane, a devastating hurricane in 1992 that struck Kauai. It was a Category 4, it hit its head on, and there were many consequences, as you can imagine, including the destruction of all the poultry farms on the island. So thus, the chickens were freed and chaos resulted. Hurricane force winds are certainly a metaphor, an appropriate metaphor for sort of what has happened, what digital technology has brought to us. Things were never the same in Kauai after that hurricane. The poultry farms weren't rebuilt, the chickens remained free, but order was restored. Just a different kind of order. Apparently now it's illegal to kill a chicken on public land, but you can kill it in your backyard. Uh, if you run one over on the road, that's okay. New rules were, uh, were in place, were, were created to solve for a new order. So by the way, I'm, uh, I'm gonna let you figure out whether you're in this new world order of marketing, you're likely to be a roadkill chicken or one who enjoys the freedom to roam paradise endlessly. Okay. So I've been a tremor now for over seven years. I was at the Wall Street Journal for 16 years before that. Um, so since video is my world, I look at it as a microcosm for this question. Now video is advertising. It's a higher order of advertising, no question. Sight, sound, and motion is unparalleled in its ability to persuade. Yet I'd say video is still in the early days, uh, just sort of like after that hurricane stage uh, st uh, days, right? Chickens are scattered everywhere. The rules of dealing with them are just forming. Think about it for a second. Think viability or viewability, right? The 3MS, or Making Measurement Makes Sense initiative process, hasn't yet settled on a standard to assess whether video should be considered uh, viewed. And yet we, at Tremor Video, have an MRC-accredited technology already for reporting on viewability. Our standard is likely higher than the one that the industry will settle on, but the point is that there's progress. Things are happening. Order is being restored slowly but surely. Heck, in 2001, you know, we were hard-coding ads in front of the videos at the Journal. The big problem then was that you just see the same advertiser over and over again. Today you can buy video at scale, at the kind of scale that's approaching TV, really, and you can do it programmatically if you want. Back then what the problem was you just, again, see that ad over and over again. Now the number of advertisers using video has exploded. The ability to generate, dynamically generate video ads has permeated the systems and the level of creativity is just through the roof right now. So yesterday, Brian King from Marriott described videos as being created uh, by his consumers as a form of advertising. Now, that's true, it's also confusing to a marketplace that really wants order. After all, you can't go out and buy X number of ads created by a consumer that are posted on sites talking about how great your brand is, right? You can't buy that. But you can create the ability uh, for that to happen. You have the tools. It's the science and the art of brand advertising. That's what Marriott and other smart marketers are, are doing right now. So laddering back up to the broader advertising landscape, Randall was right yesterday. The chaos, that the choices that marketers are facing uh, when they look to launch a new marketing campaign are daunting, right? It's chaotic. But advertising remains true to its core. The need to persuade a consumer remains the core objective. There has never been, there have never been more tools for doing so. But I see agencies adapting to the new world with increasing effectiveness. I see marketers testing new tools and applying successfully the ones that they find to be effective to their daily routines. So I believe the pace of new will slow over the next decade and our ability to breathe and market at the same time will improve. 